Hey, I am here with Mosey Bear. He's got a big fight coming up June 10th, Cage Warriors Academy Southeast for the amateur flyweight title. Mo, how are you doing, man? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good. Um, so obviously just a couple of weeks away, how's the preparation going down at Renegade? Preparations go wicked as always, man. Seeing Renegade. Best yeah. camp in Europe. So yeah, man. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you about the team in a minute, but um Firstly, you know, it's an amateur flyweight title fight. It's a big opportunity for you. Obviously, in such a prestigious organization like Cage Royce, obviously it's Cage Royce Academy, but are you doing anything different coming into this one because of that? Uh, nothing at all. Still the same. I've just started doing uh, some extra work with my head coach, Tom Breeze, just to make sure everything's crisp and technique for the... Everything's crisp and perfect for the fight, you know? Yeah. Um, you're fighting al Um have you seen much of him? What are your thoughts? Um, I ain't really watched him, to be fair. I've left that to uh, Tom Breeze and my striking coach, Zach Garbett. Um, but they've told me that he's nothing that I ain't come across before. So this is going to be my 40th fight. I'm experienced now, so I don't believe that he's going to bring anything that's going to shut me on the night. I believe that I've seen everything now. I fought the top guys in the country at flyweight and bantamweight, so... Just another day in the office. Yeah, that's one thing that caught my eye when I was looking into the both of you. Um, you are a lot more experienced than him. How big of a factor could that potentially be, do you feel? To be fair, I believe that the experience, that's going to win me my fight. Um, good decision making and just using using my experience. Um, I think that he's fought, this is his third time fighting for the title. Um, but I don't think he's fought anyone of my, my calibre yet. Um, so yeah, yeah. I mean, one thing when I look at your record, you, like you fought all over the place. You fought Cage Steel, you fought IMAF, Golden Ticket, Cage Warriors there as well. There's a lot of variety there, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that something? Is that something you enjoy going off to these new places? Because that's something you can do more as an amateur, whereas maybe as a pro, if you're signed to one place, you can't do that as much, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't really mind. You know, when an opportunity comes up. I um I take it. I believe I fought on all the biggest shows in the UK now. Um, so yeah, I'm just used to it. I can't I kind of like traveling around to be fair. Yeah. Um, for anyone that's new to you, maybe hasn't seen you fight before, what can they expect from your style? Dangerous. Um, I go forward a lot. I like to pressure my opponents, and I'm I'm well rounded. So yeah, I'm cardio king as well. <laughs> yeah. Um. Obviously, you mentioned Renegade there. Obviously, talked about a lot. You said it's the best team in Europe. You've got the UFC title to prove it, of course, in the gym. Um, <laughs> someone like you, an amateur fighter, going in there seeing, you know, Leon, UFC champion, Fabian, the Bellator number one contender, Tom Breeze, like you mentioned, Arnold, high-level contender in the featherweight division. How motivating can that be for someone like yourself who, like, hasn't made a pro debut yet? It's just... It's unreal because I'm learning from all these guys. They're showing me tricks out of their game. And I just, I add it into mine. So it's like, so you could say I've got a bit of Leon Edwards in my game, a bit of Tom Breeze in my game, a bit of Fabian Edwards in my game, a bit of Joy Herbert. Like all these guys are always like, we're all helping each other grow. So we're all learning from each other and evolving together, you know? Yeah, it really seems like a great atmosphere at the gym, looking from the outside as well, right? Yeah, it's wicked. Like literally every week, we've always got a new, new people coming down to train or other pros. Like recently, we've had, um, we've had Ian Gary come down. He's done, he's done two camps with us now, and it's wicked, man, having him down. I, I love that guy, man. Top, yeah, it's really, it's really, yeah, uh, it's really becoming a place that everyone's just like kind of going into, right? Because like people, it's. It's the place in the UK that people travel to. There isn't any other gyms in the UK doing it like that at the minute. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, obviously, just give me a bit about your origin story, because obviously people who haven't heard about you, maybe haven't seen you fight before, how did, how did you get to this position? What was your upbringing in terms of MMA? How did you get to this position? So... Um... I started training at the UTC camp. I think it was about 2016. I boxed a little bit before, but nothing too much. I just trained like three times a week at a 
a local club. The club never really had, I don't think he had any active fighters. It was just a place that my dad used to take me just to get me off the streets and start me getting into crime and messing about. Um, as soon as I put gloves on, I just fell in love with it. I moved to UTC where like Leon and Fabian and most of the lads come from at the start. UTC closed down and we found um, found a new home in Team Renegade. Tom Breeze took us all in. And since then, I've just I've never looked back. Since moving to Team Renegade, I've started training full time. And I just love it. I love being in the gym all day. It's my life. I, I live this lifestyle, you know. Yeah, you mentioned obviously one thing there at the start about how your dad took you to the gym to keep you off the streets, essentially. Yeah, Leon, yeah. Leon, Fabian, they have that kind of similar story with their... Yeah, well. we're all from we're all from the same area, so like it's it's not really the the nicest of areas, but yeah, but yeah, it is what it is. That's something that obviously I know Leon, Jimmy Manu, they've done some bits with getting kids in as well. Um, how important do you think things like MMA can be in terms of looking after kids, essentially, um, get, keeping them away from different dangers? It's important, man. Like it, with me, it's changed my life. It's given me so much to like to aim for and, and drive in life. I want to be successful in MMA. So it's given me a passion for the sport. And if you're not looking to do that, I understand like not everyone wants to fulfill it as a career or whatever. It's just good to know basic self-defense so you can defend yourself and also fitness as well as having like a healthy lifestyle and whatnot. Yeah. Um, obviously you talk about there about progressing further. That's a step in the future. First, we've got this up on June 10th. Um, when people see yourself and Alex Yabi stepping into the cage at Cage Warriors Academy in Colchester, what are they going to expect from the fight? What can they expect? What's going to happen in your mind? What's going to happen is I'm, I've worked five years for this title and what's going to happen is I'm leaving, leaving it, leaving with it around my uh, waist, around my shoulder. I'm bringing it back to Team Renegade in Birmingham. That yeah. title, it's not, it's not staying in London. It's yeah. coming back to West Midlands. Nice. nice. Um, just not going to take up too much of your time. Just where can people keep up with what you're doing, follow your career, and then if you want to shout out any sponsors, feel free. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Mozu Bear MMA. Um, and sponsors, well, I've got a lot. <laughs> shout <laughs> out Hard Life, Hard Life Fight, where they've supported me since day dot. Um, Alte Mountain Shilajit, Pound for Pound, MMA Store, um, Grappler's Soap. There's a few of us I got. I can't remember them. They're all, they're all top sponsors that helped me. Um, big shout out to my camps, Team Renegade, and my striking Jim Wheelie, Castle Muay Thai. That's where all the magic happens. <laughs> yeah, awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing it on June 10th, man. Um, thanks for taking the time. Have a nice rest of your evening. No problem. Thank you for having me. Enjoy yours too. Thanks, man.